Gentlemen, welcome back. You're back with MGTOW Money. Who else wants to make more money and be smarter? That's today's topic. Before we get to that, though, big sincere thank you to all the newest Patreon supporters of this channel, specifically Ace, Derek. Thank you guys very much. Thank you to all the Patreon supporters of this channel. And of course, those of you who are not Patreon supporters, please consider doing so. If nothing else, simply buy me a cup of coffee. See the video description. You can do so via PayPal. Let's roll on today's topic. Gentlemen, I know that 80% of you, four out of five of you, are not book readers. In other words, you probably haven't picked up a book since you were in school. And even if you are in school, the only time that you're reading a book is when you've absolutely been forced to, when it's been assigned to you and your arm has been twisted and you're being tortured essentially to read a book. All right, look, I get it. And I know that there are multiple reasons why you're not reading books, at least on any sort of consistent basis whatsoever. So I want to talk about that right now because I do have some reasons and some ideas, some thoughts for non-book readers. Look, first of all, I know the biggest objection about books is they're boring. You don't want to do it. And let me be clear. I'm not a bookworm. I'm not a guy who spends hours every single day reading hundreds and hundreds of books. That's not me. And I'm also not a guy, frankly, who's sitting there and suggesting to you, most importantly, that you reading the ancient Greeks or Shakespeare or Dostoevsky or John Milton or or some hard turgid type material. Let me give you an idea though, gentlemen. Go into your local bookstore, go into your local library for 15 minutes. One five, gentlemen, 15 minutes, go in there for 15 minutes and just walk around. I promise you, no one's going to say anything to you. You won't be an imposter. It's okay. Just walk around randomly because they've got all these different sections. They've got sections on sports, on basket weaving, on dogs, on car racing, on automobile repair, on history, etc., science, etc., etc. The point is, just start walking around randomly, go to a section that you might have some weird interest in, and just start picking up books randomly. Just start picking up books randomly that you see on the shelf, that the, the, the cover happens to catch your eye, and start flipping through them. Just skim through them. Just If nothing else, just look at the pictures. Point is, gentlemen... You don't need to read books, number one, word for word. You don't need to read them cover to cover, as they say. That is not necessary. If you want to read one page of a book and put it back on the shelf or return it to the library, that's fine. It's no problem. No one's going to care, gentlemen, whether you read one page or 101 pages. It doesn't make any difference. Furthermore, most importantly, don't read anything you don't like. Don't read books that don't really get you excited, that you really find that are awesome, that are fantastic. If you've got to go through a 100 books to only find one, that's okay. You're okay, gentlemen. No one minds. The point is, go try this. Go spend 15 minutes at your local library or your local bookstore, just randomly walking through, find an area that may be of interest to you, and then find a book and start flipping through it. Let's move on to another reason why a lot of you are not book readers. I understand for many people, reading is difficult. It's hard, whether it be due to education, whether it be due to some other, maybe a a physical or physiological type issue that you might have, I understand. And there's absolutely no shame in saying reading is difficult. It's okay. What I'm going to recommend for those men that do have a challenge reading is that you seriously consider reading books written for young people or written more on a common language, layman's way, a simpler to understand way of reading. I can tell you, gentlemen, for example, When it comes to science books, sometimes I personally have to go back to that younger person's type books. I have to read more the books that are written for the the 12 and the 14 and the 15 year old versus something that's written for more an adult level just because it helps me understand and moves me forward if I want to get into what I perceive as more of a difficult subject. There's no shame in this gentleman. None whatsoever. Furthermore, what I'm going to do is include in the description of this video are some books that I recommend that are more written 
for a younger person or in common vernacular, if you will, gentlemen. For example, an excellent book on inflation and basic economics, and he's written a series of these books. They're called the Uncle Eric books. Richard Mayberry, I have nothing to do with him whatsoever, but he's written a series of very simple to follow, understand books on economics, uh, and one of his excellent ones on inflation is What Happened to Penny Candy? I'll include a link to the description. You might want to check it out from Amazon. Another, another book from Richard Richard Kiyosaki, I don't care what the detractors say, Kiyosaki does have some good ideas. He wrote he wrote a very simple book on, on investing and cash flow, real estate, etc. Again, this is geared toward children, but again, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. That's not it's, it's certainly something that many of us, I can assure you, can probably benefit from. Another book, of course, or a series of books has been written by Dave Ramsey. As many of you know or may not know, Dave Ramsey is a nationally syndicated radio talk show host in the United States. He does shows on personal finance. Terrific job. Terrific advice, generally speaking. I'll include a link to some of his books. These books are very easy to follow, easy to understand. I highly recommend those as well. Let me mention the biggest reason, although I think many of you might think that you don't read books, and that is simply due to a lack of time. Look, I get it. You're working 50 hours, 60 hours, whatever it might be. You feel like, I just don't have the time. Look, dedicate 15 minutes a day, gentlemen. Carve out just 15. 15 minutes, one five a day. Make it automatic, just like you're brushing your teeth, just like you're doing some other something habitually speaking. Create a habit of 15 minutes a day of book reading. Get off Facebook, get away from the video games, carve out 15 minutes a day. That's 450 minutes a month, gentlemen. On a 30-day month, 30 times 15, that's over seven hours a month you could put forward to reading. I virtually guarantee you, gentlemen, you will be smarter if you'll do this on a monthly basis, and you will make more money, I can virtually guarantee you, if you will dedicate yourself to this. Let me summarize by saying, gentlemen, I know, even if you don't like book reading, it's because you've been going about it all wrong. And that's because you've not been reading books that you really want to read that get you excited. I highly encourage you, start seeking out books that you want to read. Don't feel like you need to read them cover to cover. Even if you just read a couple of pages and you put it back, that's fine. No harm, no foul. My maternal grandfather, my father's, my mother's father was a third grade educated union laborer who, guess what? He was a lifelong reader, gentlemen. He loved reading. I swear that guy read more books probably in his life than I will ever read in my life. He was reading all the time. I'm telling you, you can do this, gentlemen, and I can virtually guarantee if you will do this, you will make more money and you will have a better life. Gentlemen, as always, I hope you found that helpful. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. As always, John Galt, out.